Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock and other semiconductors as well that is AMD, ARM, Broadcom, SMCI and Micron. So let's take a look at the price action and also most importantly if you are looking for tech stocks and S&P 500 and QQ and Tesla videos I already did those on my channel so check those out over there. Now, before also going further, I want to let you know, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. So, NVIDIA. Well, today's fall or a collapse or a NVIDIA just sinking into the sinkhole is no surprising action to me, all right? Because why so? I was talking about once we lose 128 and the 20 days moving average, that's a flush we would have. We got that and it opens up the door for it to get down to $117. You can see the significant level marked by my indicator down back there. If you, and if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below of this video. We got precisely right over there and a little bit of buyback happened to the upside. Very little, tiny mini, right? But anyways, it doesn't matter. What matters is what is the structure here. And there are a couple of news that, you know, media is making up that, you know, U.S. administration wants the strictest, strictest re restrictions on the uh, suppliers to, you know, Chinese firms or whatnot for chips. But it's just the implication. I don't think that news has to do anything with the, uh, with the price action. News is always curated and made to amplify its importance once the price action has made the move so that the news can stay in the business of in the news right in the media it doesn't matter we do the technicals analysis we trade with the technicals and before this even news came out technicals were all building up to fall to the downside which i have been talking about since over the weekend in my videos that 117 dollars is the direction we are going to right uh, with more probability now um uh, yeah, so I, I, the news just sounds very amplified and very important because price, because news is made after the price and that's what they try to make sound like, oh, it's so cool, pay us our subscription model for our news media business with no importance. Uh, it doesn't matter. Price action is the king in trading. If you are here to make the money in the trading, you have to follow the price action. Earnings matters, all right? Don't get me wrong. Earnings matters. And some bottom line, if the news would have been, sorry, I'm taking a bit of time here, but if the news would have been that US has imposed this restriction on this NVIDIA chip and that these companies would not get, this is how it will reflect in their bottom line, then it's, uh, you know, uh, something to pay attention to. But if it's just that they are implying, I mean, come on, it's just, the news is just then trying to showcase you, highlight that in a way. If NVIDIA would have gone up today, they would have shown you a news that, oh, these analysts are, because there are news that analysts are going all in, there's a relentless demand in NVIDIA, right? They would have shown you that news with amplification. So it, it, it's all about, you know, news selling you after the price session has made the move. All right. So um, yeah, guys, it's not just NVIDIA that's sold off. You can see across the board, we are quite red today. And I talked about it in my other videos that I did today. All right. Coming back here on NVIDIA, so yes, 117 was the target we got there. Now what from here, guys? So technically, we are in the downtrend on NVIDIA. The structure is uh, negative. There is no structure to the upside right now. If NVIDIA has to turn itself bullish again tomorrow, we'll take a look at hourly interval. But tomorrow, if NVIDIA can regain back above 123, then that's another question. Okay, bulls are again getting control. If we see a wick down here tomorrow and a big green candle as well, that's also a question to give bulls the benefit that okay bulls are still there so this is the level you're watching tomorrow 117 dollars because 50 days moving average will be very close over here if we lose tomorrow 50 days moving average with 117 dollars guys that opens up the door to then 107 dollars or 106 dollars almost right so just keep this in mind nvidia is in the downtrend and once we lost this pivot right over here we have this pivot activated and you can see we had a flush that i was talking about once we start to lose this 128 area with 20 days moving average and then we have been just plummeting since then thereafter so what more we have to look for in nvidia let's talk about the day trading potentials in the post market nvidia is a little bit up so let's go to the hourly interval and let me actually adjust something on my indicator and guys if i mentioned it already but if you need access to my tools links are in the description below of this video so let's adjust some levels here and let's yeah medium is fine for now 
on this one here we go on nvidia specifically all right the levels that i'm watching so there are two couple of things you can be watching technically look guys we're in the downtrend if rebound has to happen that would be if we continue above 120 dollars some rebound may come all the way to 123 dollars but i'll not bet more than that right now intraday rebound only because why we are technically in the downtrend so it's just a rebound and also the structure overall is also downtrending now so 123 is a possibility in the rebound if we get, can get above 20 hours moving average but since we are in the rebound you have to be just scalping the longs all right you will be better off let the move happens when you start to see the price reacts uh, you know rejects at these levels up here and let's actually do high because there's another level that showed up um yeah and again you can adjust these importance based off of uh how volatile the stock is and that's what defines the medium high low uh, level so that's what i usually adjust it as so yeah at these levels you can see if price starts to reject that would be the end of this rebound because technically we are still in the downtrend and then yeah definitely the if we start to lose let's say after this such a sell-off next day it might there's a chance that it might just stay around chop around or a little bit rebound as well because after the sell-off that's you know a possibility and but anyways because technically we are in the downtrend nothing is stopping it to just continue to fall so that's why i provided you that 117 and also 50 days moving average if it breaks both and then you have to see around that also because this is where 50 days moving average would be tomorrow and with 117 if you see here this pivot let's say we come lower and this pivot starts to hold as double bottom with 50 days moving average and 117 you see the wicks forming here on the lower time frame double bottoms forming things may continue higher right rebound may happen so just be prepared at this level so on the five minutes for example you know double bottoms and things like that right like for example this support holding right so like bottoms holding these are the price actions you have to see on the lower time frame at these important levels all right and if we just flush we just flush then guys all right then we're just heading lower but so that's the level you are watching 117 with the 50 days moving average tomorrow very important for either direction of the play all right i provided you how long up to up to where can the rebound go all right that's amd oh sorry that's nvidia sorry this is amd guys so amd guys collapse kaboom over this is game over it's over guys pack your bags go home amd is done kaboom all right now i've i talked about it actually on my channel right from the weekend that i expect amd to give us red days right until this level though 171 we would have still remained bullish through these red days and i was i, I in i was expecting until here 171 right these red days that will be it and then we'll see the price action there this collapse i wasn't expecting but yes it's still in the thesis though we are red there was no confirmation that came here though that it's a buy right so technically it wasn't a buy into the pullback and even if you have bought let's say for any reason you would have to have a stop loss on the other side of the structure right but anyways that pivot never happened never formed there was no consolidation here no no the higher pivots forming if you go to the lower time frame we can see that am i seeing anywhere lower pivots forming like sorry the higher pivots forming after coming down there no it just kept flushing so this was not even there was no confirmation to buy here right and once we lost also the 200 hours moving average guys it's a blood bath like amd is like kaboom it's over guys it's over amd is gonna go bankrupt i'm kidding i'm just, i'm just adding a lot more jokes here but no, it's not going bankrupt but yeah amd right now is not showing many signs of bullishness and tomorrow even if any green candle comes but if it just stays up here just that's just going to be a dead cat bounce right now on amd let's see what it does around 200 days moving average uh amd yeah even if rebounds come tomorrow i'll be very careful but if any rebound comes that will be only until guys maybe 166 and 87 cents yeah you can see if that happens but yeah after these sell-offs it won't i won't be surprised if tomorrow we see a green candle as well right uh, but with the rebound but we have you have to see on the lower time frame double bottom consolidation pivots forming somewhere around here these levels holding and then once we break the level to the upside then you can trade to the next level up but only rebound because technically structure is broken on this this is negative 
So nothing is stopping it from continuing to fall right now, all right? Arm, also, kaboom, $17 down today. This was the box, this was the level I provided. Once we lose this, that's a break, break of structure and you can see we lost this structure, we went down. But hey, we are not complaining guys. We already made so much money down up from here all the way high here. If you have been following my videos, you already know that. Now, since we have lost the structure, it's the, this, is, this was the area I provided and you can see you are still making money on the downside. Anyways, I'm providing only educational opinion here guys. You can go and do whatever you wanna do, all right? So that's that's arm. Right now, I'm not seeing any structure on the upside on this. It has to tomorrow regain above 20 days moving average. If just want to continue higher up from here. Otherwise, no. Broadcom also lost 20 days moving average. That was I was saying. If we lose that, we'll just continue lower. Yeah, coming down to 50 days moving average. So this is 144 is a good support. Though you are watching this level, and but yeah, right now it's negative. Can continue lower if it wants to. If you don't see any price action support somewhere else, SMCI was already broken. It's still broken. It broke once we lost this level. I talked about to you guys in my all the videos 911 area, right? Once we lost that, it's just been downtrending. It's just plummeting. This is the time to take partial profits through the extensions. But right now, I'm not seeing any signs of it's going higher. So right now, it's in the negative structure. Can continue lower. There may be rebounds that may come. You can use my levels that my indicators already automatically marks to make those decisions. Yeah, right now, even if any rebound comes until 854, that will be just in the downtrend, this rebound. We are negative on SMCI. It's bearish. Micron. So Micron going to the daily interval. And Micron is, yeah, once we lost 50 days moving average, we lost that blue box. It's, it's a crash, collapse. And that's what I was saying. It'll just continue lower. There's a flush play. It's just bearish, guys. Yeah, very brutal sell-off on Micron. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. And if you found it helpful, valuable, please hit the like, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next videos. All right, guys, take care.